And the dung beetles are definitely back. You can see, here's the evidence of the dung beetle. This is soil. You can see how finely granulated that is. That's dug down really deep. So this is how dung beetles regenerate soil. Vitamins and minerals that have sunk down in the soil. Yeah, did you like that? Oh, and now I'm being overwhelmed by dogs. But um, this is soil that would be kind of mineral vitamin rich that they bring up to the surface. So that's one of the good things that the dung beetle does. The other good thing is they bring the manure deep down, which fertilizes the roots. Isn't that right, Inca? We like our dung beetles, don't we? Yes, we do like our dung beetles. So it's nice to see. This is the evidence of the door dung beetle. Let's see if I can find where it is. They make a hole in the ground, obviously, which is, ah, I can't find where it is. Ah, where are you? You have to feel around to find out where the hole is. No, no. Problem is, if I feel around too much and I find the hole, I expose it for the crows or the, um, what are they called? Uh, woodcocks or snipe. They come down and they love the dung beetle grubs. Okay, I don't know where this one's hole is, but it's somewhere here. It's dung beetle hole is somewhere here. Oh, I can't find it. But anyway, there's a hole in there somewhere. And you also get the worms. Oh, there was a worm there. It fell out. Oh, there it is. So that's the dung beetle made it so that the worm could get to the surface better. So the worm is having a lovely feed as well. So that's what regenerative farming is all about, is getting the insect life to populate in a big way and then you feed the bird life. And it feeds the soil. Here you can see the clovers coming up. Now this was, the horses were on this about, oh, over 10 days ago. So that's, no, it's not a 10 days. Let me see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So they were here under nine days ago. So less than a week ago, they were right here grazing and pooping. But the door beetle don't really are uh, coming into their own in this next month. And there's evidence of another door beetle here. So they're hole digging capacities. Here's some of the seed that I threw the other day, threw out, is now germinating. You can see these are lovely sweet little babies of, from the seeds that I threw out. So nothing will be grazing to give those and I, you can see they're also on one of the skid marks. So that'll recover really well. See all the skid marks. Now, I've got to pick up what I've left behind. Oh, my bit of fencing. Across this, this is where a door dung beetle is, is in here. But there's no manure. The manure is all underground. So it's completely cleaned up. There's no, oh, there's a little bit of the really fibrous part of manure here. Otherwise, this dung beetle, or these dung beetles, have completely buried all the manure in the area. So there's no manure whatsoever all around where the dung beetle initially dug. So it's capped itself and there's probably eggs in there and there's a grub in there that will eat the manure that's down there. And that's part of the cycle of a good pasture. Pasture land management in regenerative farming is when you see those little piles like that, that's a dung beetle pile. There are other little piles like that that are the beginnings of anthills, which is completely different. And you're totally relaxed with the dung beetles, aren't you, Inca? You're so clever. You're such a dung beetle dog. Yes. Such a dung beetle dog.